Spontaneous Sportsman. I'm here at the same location I was at about three weeks ago, Cochiti Lake. I'm going to set up my rods, try to catch some catfish and some carp. Last night I stayed up late. Um, I was making some hair rigs and I'll show you guys what that looks like a little bit later. But basically it's a hook with a piece of line hanging down that you hang your bait from. And the bait we'll be using for carp are called boilies. It's this little ball. You make balls. Um, so boilies are made out of basically two eggs, some strawberry jello, some um, cream corn, and some flour. And you mix all that together with shredded wheat and you get a kind of a dough and then you make balls out of it and you can if you want it to float you just microwave the balls for about 30 seconds and they'll float up on that hair rig underwater or if you want a sinker you boil them so you actually boil them in boiling water and the jello makes them pretty good I also got some that I did not cook um, to pack on there's a weight above the hook and I'll pack this bait on there to kind of saturate the water and then that ball's hanging out there. Hopefully we catch a carp on that. Also have catfish liver, chicken liver here that I've salted. It's been in the fridge for about three weeks now so that should be nice and juicy, ready to go. Um, those will stay on the hook hopefully pretty good. And then another jar of catfish liver that I'd use a Procure Catfish Magic on. It's a UV, it's a real purple thing so it's supposed to make it last on the hook pretty good. I'll go head to head and see which one's better for those. Also have another pack bait over here that is actually going to be quick oats, uh, oatmeal, uh, regular sweet corn, the whole kernel with the juice in there, some strawberry jello and some vanilla and then I'll add some lake water to that and see if that firms up and then we'll use that too. So. Let me get set up and then uh, hopefully we can show you guys some fish. This is what those livers look like treated with the Procure. You can see they're really, really turning purple, kind of pinkish color. I'm going to let them dry on this rock in the hot sun. It's uh, September, early September here at Coach D Lake. It's about 9.30. I'm going to let these dry and then you flip them and let them dry on the other side. I'll add a little bit more cure to harden them up even more. And these overnighted in the fridge last night. I put them all inside a gallon Ziploc and put some Procure on there and then kind of mashed them around. You know, not mashed them, but just kind of swirled them around with my hands, trying not to break them apart. And this morning, you're supposed to flip them after they go in the sun for a little bit. And one caution I'll, I'll tell you guys, wear gloves when handling these because this dye will get on everything. Last night almost ruined a rug my wife wouldn't have been very happy about, but luckily I saved it because I got it in the uh, washer real quick. Anyway, this dye will stain anything it touches, so make sure you uh, work with it really cautiously. But we'll try these and see how they do versus the salted liver. So far been out here for a couple hours and I've caught these two channel catfish. I'll measure them later. Um, so far it's tied, one on liver, one on the cure. And I've caught one carp, well hooked it, but it got off. It wrapped me around an underwater branch and got off. I think it was pretty big, but we'll keep trying to get a carp. Hopefully we can get a couple on camera.